Hello, we are watching the news broadcast of Delhi and following at today's headlines. Prime Minister Nguyen Dan Zum met with former Japanese Prime Minister Yukio Hatoyama in Tokyo on April 20. The Vietnam Venezuela Intergovernmental Committee met for the second session in Caracas. The third air cargo security workshop of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum took place in Ho Chi Minh City on April 19 and 20. Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dũng arrived in Tokyo on April 19 to attend the Mekong-Japan summit. On April 20, he met with former Japanese Prime Minister Yukio Hatoyama, who is chairman of the Japan-Vietnam Parliamentarians' Friendship Alliance. At the meeting, Dũng thanked Japan for its provision of official development assistance capital to help Vietnam reach its developmental targets. The Prime Minister affirmed that Vietnam will continue to work with Japan to further promote relations between the two countries. Tsum also suggested the two sides focus on promoting a number of cooperative areas such as infrastructure development, energy, rare earth exploitation, environment, culture, technology transfer and cooperation between the two countries' localities. Yukio Hatoyama thanked the Vietnamese government and people for their assistance to Japan to overcome difficulties after the earthquake and tsunami in March last year. He affirmed that the Japan-Vietnam Parliamentarians Friendship Alliance will actively lobby the Japanese Congress and government to continue providing ODA capital to Vietnam in the fields of infrastructure investment, training of human resources and encouraging more of its enterprises to invest in Vietnam. The control diversity among ethnic groups in Vietnam was celebrated at the gala at the Vietnamese Ethnic Control Tourism Village in Hanoi on April 19. The event was a highlight of the Vietnamese Ethnic Control Festival taking place here since April 18. Representatives of 14 ethnic groups from 10 cities and provinces brought to the event artistic performances typical of their own culture. In addition, traditional market species of ethnic groups in various parts of the country were recreated at the site. Traditional products and handicrafts created by ethnic minority groups drew a large number of visitors' market, who also have a chance to engage in many traditional games and folklore performances. Addressing the gala, National Assembly Chairman Nguyen Sinh Hung stressed Vietnam's commitment to promoting solidarity among its 54 ethnic groups, as well as preserving the cultural identity of each group. He said, cultural development is a consistent national priority, as culture is the spiritual foundation of society and a goal and motivator for socio-economic development. The Intergovernmental Committee of Vietnam and Venezuela convened the second sessions in Caracas, Venezuela on April 19. Vietnamese Deputy Prime Minister Huang Chung Hai and Venezuelan Vice President Rafael Ramirez co chaired the event. Opening the session, the Venezuelan Vice President said the content of the meeting was of great significance, creating new developments in cooperative fields between the two countries. He revealed the agreements reached between the two countries' high-ranking leaders during the Vietnam visit by President Hugo Chavez in 2007 and at the first intergovernmental committee meeting. Vice President Rafael Ramirez said he hopes the committee's working groups will reach on specific job projects, thus bringing benefits for both sides. Sharing the same view, Deputy Prime Minister Huang Chung Hai said the meeting was a suitable venue for the two sides to propose measures to accelerate the implementation of side projects, with a view to realizing 50 cooperative documents signed over the last four years. In the following discussions, seven working groups elaborated projects in the field of agriculture, culture, information technology, and communications. The two sides also exchanged views on cooperation in potential sectors, 
including telecommunications, small-scale hydropower plants, and application of biogas in Venezuelan rural areas. The PUD Prime Minister Nguyen Thiet Nhân has paid a visit to Brazil to learn from the country's experience in sustainable poverty reduction. The Deputy PM held meetings with officials from the Brazilian Ministries of Social Development, Hunger Prevention and Education in the capital city of Brasilia. He toured Rio de Janeiro, which is the first state to implement the National Poverty Reduction Program. He also visited several establishments registered to Bolsa Familia, the program providing allowances for the poor, and facilities providing consultancy to those who are in difficult circumstances or facing violence. From the achievements of Brazil, we can draw some lessons in poverty reduction. First of all, the country's success can be attributed to strong coordination between relevant ministries. Secondly, Brazil also built a national database on the poor in order to effectively implement work relating to poverty reduction, health care and improvement of education for the poor. Thanks to the Brazilian government's policies on combining economic development and poverty reduction, about 28 million Brazilian people have escaped from poverty. About 16 million others remain under the poverty line. The country is striving to become the first developing country in the world to meet its poverty reduction target according to the first UN Millennium Development Goal. The third Air Cargo Security Workshop of the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Forum took place in Ho Chi Minh City on April 19th and 20th. The event drew the participation of over 100 delegates from 21 APEC economic members, international organizations and regional allies. Assistant to the Vietnamese Foreign Minister Nguyễn Ngoc Sơn said, As a member of ASEAN, APEC and other regional mechanisms, Vietnam has continued to participate in cooperative programs, contributing to joint efforts to strengthen linkages and economic connectivity and create a safe and favorable environment for trade and investment. Ambassador Mohamed Nao Yaakob, Executive Director of the APEC Secretariat, affirmed APEC has a strong potential to boost cooperation in aviation security, helping promote economic development and increase linkages. At the workshop, APEC members discussed the creation of policies and application of programs to ensure air cargo security, technological solutions and initiatives on air cargo security, measures to increase cooperation among APEC and between APEC and concerned international organizations were also on the agenda. Vietnamese and United States experts share experience in the negotiations and signing of free trade agreements at a seminar in Hanoi on April 19th. The event was co-organized by the Vietnamese National Assembly and the United States Agency for International Development. By December 31, 2011, Vietnam had joined eight regional free trade agreements, which focused mainly on trading in goods. According to Deputy Chairman of the National Assembly External Affairs Committee, Ngo Đức Mạnh, Vietnam has kept pursuing its open policy of active integration into international economics. The country has been working hard to prepare economic and human resource conditions to successfully implement the integration process. In my experience from the negotiations on WTO accession, we had to make good preparations domestically in order to achieve our goals in trade negotiations. Firstly, we must have policies and mechanisms ready for target areas in the negotiations. Secondly, we must carefully study which areas can be opened to our partners and to identify the fields in their countries where we can gain a foothold to promote our exports. The success of negotiations and signing also depends on the consensus of ministries and branches and the close direction and consultation between the government and the National Assembly. The 6th International Conference on Community-Based Adaptation to Climate Change opened in Hanoi on April 19th. The four-day event focuses on countries' experiences in the implementation of community-based disaster management. Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development Khao Duc Phat emphasized that climate change and abnormal natural disaster are a common problem for many countries worldwide, including Vietnam. 
Therefore, the conference provides a much-needed forum for Vietnamese and international managers, social organizations and scientists to discuss measures to enhance capacity and improve the livelihoods of vulnerable population groups in developing countries. Participants will also deliberate ways to attract and utilize resources reasonably to obtain more support for the community. Prior to discussions, international delegates made fact-finding tours to several areas vulnerable to natural disasters in northern, central and Mekong Delta regions of Vietnam. And that comes to the end of the news today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.